Snow started its first day of skiing in 1954. Back then we were Skiland USA and boasted some of the best lifts in the country. We're the gateway to Vermont. It's the first big mountain skiing that you reach when you enter Vermont. This past spring, uh, Mount Snow was purchased by Peak Resorts. Peak Resorts owns several uh, ski areas, uh, mostly in the Midwest, but they now also own Mount Snow in Vermont, Attach in New Hampshire, and Crotchet in New Hampshire, and Jack Frost, Big Boulder, down in Pennsylvania. Mount Snow, uh, as, as any uh, ski area in the east, relies tremendously on snowmaking. If Mother Nature doesn't cooperate, we still have to deliver a product. When Peak Resorts came in, uh, they talked a lot about fan gun technology. And then the water, of course, comes out through here, and it starts the snowmaking process by creating really small or very microscopic tiny uh, frozen crystals. Then uh, the water that's projected out of these nozzles uh, cling on to that to make a man-made snowflake. It's very easy to start them up, less labor intensive. We can put out and resurface or cover a trail a lot quicker and uh, save money on energy to boot. A lot of resorts haven't invested in fan guns because each fan gun costs about $35,000. So that's a big expenditure. But Pete kept telling us that we're going to love them because not only are they efficient, but they are effective. When I say that they're effective, Mount Snow was the first resort in Vermont to open. That, I don't know if that's ever happened. We beat everybody. We know moving forward at Mount Snow um, that we're going to use as many fan guns as possible, but there's still a time and a place for the traditional air water gun. They have a, a, a shorter reach, and we have a lot of classic New England kind of skinny cut trails, so that's where the, the air water gun, you can position it right into those spots, those tricky areas. When we're running full bore, every one of these compressors and uh, in addition uh, other compressors on the uh, mountain are running to generate compressed air for the conventional air water gun. The air is exited through here and it's somewhere around the 200 and 260 degrees. It's funneled as the other three are into this large unit up here, which is the heat exchanger. I think the ski industry is going to continue to be leaders uh, in terms of working to improve our environment and sustain what we have here. I think that everybody is on a very fast track.